Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. It's me Raquel and thank you so much you guys for coming into my channel. It's been a while that I haven't shared with you anything, anything, anything under the sun and the moon. But right now I'm here in front of you. Beautiful and pretty you. <laughs> Guys, I'm just kidding, but I hope it's true. <laughs> you know, in other words, I'm not getting any younger or I'm not just alone, but you know, in my heart, I'm always feel young. And I think that is a good thing to think about, you know. So today, what I'm going to share with you guys is my experience about this uh, dengue fever here in the philippines so i never expect this i never expect that uh this uh dengue will gonna hit my body you know <laughs> well who knows who knows that uh, i will uh have this or none none of us doesn't want it right who wants it nobody because it's a it's a virus it's virus infection from the uh, mosquito bite and uh, you know i thought our place is uh, safe uh, for dengue but uh, i think uh, here in the philippines there is no such safe place for that we are the one who need to protect ourselves for uh, mosquito bite uh, all right so I don't want to get further with this uh, topic and then um, I will share with you what I have uh, experienced so right now I'm recovering from a dengue fever and thanks God uh, I don't have any more fever okay I'm still feeling dizzy to be honest with you guys but uh, I make this video, I want to take advantage in making this video before I forget everything. <laughs> because maybe when I feel so much better, of course, my life will still, uh, my life will get back into normal. Busy, busy, busy here, busy there. And, uh, you know, especially Christmas is coming, New Year's is coming. We all get busy in our personal life especially with our loved ones and family so right now let me share it with you and <clears throat> for me it's something good news because yes i survived i survived <clears throat> so <clears throat> i suffered from uh, fever for uh five days okay suffered for fever for five days i had some chills my fever is uh on and off and uh you know it's it's so hard for me and i said to myself it is it's really weird and it's something like strange what i really feel because uh my sense of taste is so much um mapait you know you know mapait means it's a uh, bitter bitter even when i drink water everything is taste uh, really bad and uh, so i told my mom why the food that uh, she cook is uh, taste so bad <laughs> And, and you know my son and all my my nephew said they're all yummy so I said what's wrong with my uh, sense of taste and uh, by the time I'm already having a uh, fever but not yet really getting high you know maybe it's only like 38 38.5 and then I'm taking only paracetamol and thanks God because that's the medicine that uh, I took that uh, that's the medicine that I took and I didn't know that uh, I have a 
I already have a dengue because what I have found what I have found out from the doctor the safest uh, medicine for dengue is only the paracetamol okay the paracetamol which is the acetam acetaminophen or uh, Tylenol okay is a brand of uh, paracetamol which is safe to use safe to intake once you have a dengue otherwise like if I take uh, aspirin or ibuprofen my dengue will get worse because uh, uh, I don't know what what is the reason so but the doctor explained that only paracetamol is the best for that and by that time I don't know that it's only paracetamol is good uh, medicine for the dengue because there's no such medicine to cure the dengue itself because it's from the mosquito bite it's a virus infection that, that goes uh, into your blood okay so what happened guys i have this fever and chills high and low temperature on and off you know so it's a uh, it's kind of irritating for me I just lay in bed for uh, straight three days I lay in bed I didn't go out from my bedroom because it's just hard for me to get up and walk it's like I'm gonna fall I feel so dizzy and you know my my mom is forcing me to eat to drink and everything and yeah thanks thanks to thanks to my loving mom i love you mom so ah, mother's mother's care is always the best i tell you guys <laughs> yeah well anyway that's that's my uh, opinion okay it's not the same for everyone so so where I am now it's like I lost a little bit so anyway so what happened is uh, I suffered a dengue and uh, I, I don't really know that I'm having a dengue okay so when I'm feeling like uh, oh no it's it's Monday so Friday Saturday Sunday and also Thursday night it's my fever started Thursday night and then I went to the doctor on Monday morning okay but Monday morning I still didn't know that I am suffering from uh, dengue at the same time because of that oh, on top of that uh, since maybe of course i'm not drinking enough water i'm not uh, eating you know any any food and um, i was very sick and uh, so i got also a uti i got a uti my cough my dry cough start okay so but I never thought that I have a dengue so what happened is before I go to the hospital I went to the uh, diagnostic center and tested my uh, urine and it shows that uh, I have uh, infection it shows in my urine that I have crystals in my uh, urine okay so i went to the doctor and showed this uh show the paper show the result and the doctor explained to me and how does it happen okay so she gave me three types of medicine and in short i bought that medicine and start taking and what happened is 
the doctor told me to undergo for some laboratory test, which is the uh, CBC, is a, which is the uh, blood count. And with the dengue test, okay? So testing a dengue, there is a IgG and IgM that they are calling, okay? So this IgG and Ig, IgM, I will explain to you how, how the doctor explained this to me, okay? And as how I understand. So anyhow, anyway, uh, I undergo with this test and it shows on my uh, CBC test that my white blood cells is already dropping down, my platelet is dropping down slow, and my my monocyte is higher than normal and there is another one that is low so when I saw the result it uh, you know, it doesn't make me happy of course and by that time that I get the result I'm very dizzy I'm I'm feeling very ill still and you know I'm not I don't have a uh, lot of strength to do things and um, what happened is uh, uh, what happened after that I decided to have this uh, dengue test so went to the other hospital and got this test okay uh, it cost it cost 950 pesos and also the doctor let me do the ultrasound because the doctor said oh you have some crystals in your urine <laughs> you know so in short uh, the crystals in my urine makes me more worried than this dengue test you know because I said to myself, "What? Well, I don't have any dengue. Why? Where? Where I will get that? You know." So I go to the ultrasound and I have this dengue test together. And what happened is, uh, when I did the ultrasound, uh, the doctor is showing me why he's doing that, and he said, "Your organs are." all perfect nothing is wrong all you need is uh, you need to hydrate well you just need a lot of fluid in your body so drink a lot of water because that is very important okay as of now don't eat a lot of uh, pork beef uh, this uh, very salty foods like also noodles don't eat it and um, chips and anything you know that can trigger uh, your kidney so it's very perfect right now so you don't have any problem okay so the crystals is formed in your urine according to the doctor it's because that it's because that you're maybe you're taking some uh, vitamins or your body is uh, producing a lot of uh, calcium you know and that form like crystals in your urine but nothing is wrong with your kidney you just need to drink a lot of water okay so I also said to the doctor, I'm taking this vitamins conseys, so do I need to stop it or continue it or does it uh, give any, uh, does, it, does it add any, uh, does it add 
does it contribute does it contribute anything in my uh, kidney problem so he said uh, no it, it's not because conseys is not really a vitamin C it has vitamin C but only very little amount so conseys is good for your uh, skin and the hair so it it's it's all right to take that uh, vitamins so so I feel relief with that and then when I go to this uh, to the dengue laboratory then I get the result then that's the time that you know get shot when I see the result because quickly when the lady handed me the paper it shows uh, dengue positive <laughs> what I said to the lady does it mean that it means dengue positive I'm positive with the dengue and the lady told me I cannot answer you go to your own doctor <laughs> so anyway so you know it's like what she's she's the only person that I ask that is uh, you know that is not nice with me so far everybody are nice except her so maybe she has some personal problems that moment so anyway in short uh, I go back to the hospital okay go back to the hospital the next day not on that same day because you know after that I feel very very tired all I want to do is just to lay down and sleep lay down sleep and yeah so I came home quickly that that time and that is the fifth day that I'm having a fever okay so came home uh, get some rest and uh, yeah have some medicine that the doctor prescribed the antibiotics uh, and also, I took another paracetamol, I remember, and I took some uh, antihistamine and uh, this, uh, I, I forgot what type of other medicine the doctor gave me. So anyway, I feel the next day after that, I feel better, I feel better, you know. And uh, I don't have fever whole day and at night so I decided to go back to the hospital and bring all the uh, bring the result and uh, so when I handed it to the doctor uh, the doctor said uh, oh you have a dengue. I said, is that what it meant? Is that what it meant? I have a dengue. He said, it may and it may not. I said, what? I said, what does it mean? It may and it may not. But yes. So the doctor said, uh, yes, you have, you had already a dengue I said what do you mean that you I had already a dengue the doctor said uh, you had a dengue before I said I never had a dengue before and he said it indicates here that you had a dengue before not this time so I said can you explain it to me more how does it happen did I get a dengue without noticing without my body you know without noticing that I get a dengue so the doctor said uh, it's like this this uh, IgG IgG, I don't know what that stands for <laughs> IgG IgG positive 
it means that uh, you already got a dengue before. Either, either because now it's your, either now you're uh, getting over it. That's why it's before. It means when you test, when you test for the dengue, it's already over. You know the dengue attack is already over. It's not. Uh, it's not onset. It's not on the present. It means it happened before. Did you get it? I said okay. And how about the other one? So the other one said. It means that. Negative, it doesn't mean that you cannot have a dengue again. All right, so I said to the doctor, so if I get a dengue from before, what do I need to do? He asked me, are, are you still having a fever right now? I said, no, from last night and today the whole day, I don't have any more fever. Thanks, God. So, he said, well, it's a good sign. So, what we're going to do tomorrow is you need to have another uh, blood test, CBC. So, we will know if, your, if the count of your white blood cells goes high from uh, this uh, one, you know, even it gets higher plus one or plus two that is a very good sign okay and also the count of your platelet gets higher from this so right now i have 127 if it uh, goes to 128 129 you know even plus one or plus two it means that is very good okay so your body is getting over it. I said, oh, thanks God. Because, But he said, so what are you feeling right now? I said, I'm still feeling very dizzy actually, but I don't have any more fever. So he said, so tomorrow you need to have a blood test and uh, we will know. But if something happened with you, like you have an internal bleeding, and you see it, you run quickly to the emergency so you can have this uh, proper treatment for dengue. But right now, since also you got the uh, cough together with this infection, and at the same time, you got, uh, you got a UTI, which is also another viral infection, now we're gonna really exactly tell which one uh, like uh, strike you but in short you got a dengue <laughs> you got the dengue did you get it? you got a dengue anyway so that that is the that is what i wanted to tell you guys okay everything happened in an unexpected way surprise surprise i'm coming to you <laughs> and you didn't know it <laughs> yeah so Right now I can, I can laugh, I can, you know, but honestly, I'm feeling dizzy. If I move here, stand and, you know, still like, it's like, you know, I'm going to fall. So I'm sitting down, steady, looking on my phone, trying to talk. <laughs> and I don't know, I hope you understand, guys. And if ever this experience comes to you 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 know what to do right and uh, you know we always need to be strong we we are all strong people and we need to fight for it we need to fight 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 for the right so thank you so much guys for watching See you in my next video.